Hi guys, welcome to the Cigar Minute. I'm your host, Tyler Pikert. This is my very first review, so it's gonna be a little sloppy, but what can you say, you know? You're just kinda doing it. Sound guy's new. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> He's the intern. <laughs> so I can do whatever I want, basically. That's all I'm doing. I gotta think about what I wanna say right now. <laughs> so, today, I've got three guys. We've got the Alec Bradley. I don't know if you can see that in there, but I'm just gonna throw it up there. It's a phenomenal fucking cigar. It's absolutely amazing. I love the shit out of it. I've been smoking on it for like maybe. I don't know, half hour, something like that. And it's only right here. The first third just dropped, so that's why it's looking like that. But I wasn't planning on doing this. It's just like I'm in the middle of it and I just love the shit out of it. So I figured I'd like throw it out there, you know? So, I don't know, it's an awesome band. It's got some, a uh, little bit of aging going on there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of dots. And I don't know why it does it, but usually when you age tobacco, it starts looking like that. Yeah, I don't know, this one actually grabbed me by surprise. This is really good. Super like, it's like a, a marshmallow. The smell to it is very chocolatey, but it's also tastes like marshmallow with a little bit of pepper, like a peppered marshmallow, if that even makes sense. I don't even know if that's even like a real thing, but that's exactly what it tastes like. It's so good. And you can tell that they actually put a lot of time and effort into this one because they got it box pressed and they have a super nice looking band on it that they threw on there. So usually when I see that, you can tell like they really take pride in this and they want you to know that this is phenomenal shit. So yeah, it's great, it's awesome. I'm gonna keep smoking on this one. I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. I, I think it'd be better if I had you with me or something. Hi guys, <laughs> how's it going? I'm gonna hop in this uh, review now here too. I'm gonna hop into this I'm one. I'm gonna hop into the uh, How about I just be the guy that sits here and never says anything? I agree, it's very, uh, I agree, I was butterscotch. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You've been smoking. I'm smoking a punch uh, imported. It's a punch original. Um, I have some punch signatures in my humidor inside. Uh, definitely the lighter, or the uh, darker version of it. I'm getting tons of butterscotch and tomato. Mm -hmm. Tomato juice. Oh wait, that's what I had for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the cigar, it's no. the breakfast. No. Little hints of, uh, you know, uh, Cracker Jacks. And the uh, Cheerios. <laughs> Tastes like Wheaties. <laughs> a bologna sandwich. Oh no, wait, that's what I had for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I've been smoking on this one for a good uh, minute here, probably about 45 minutes or so. Reaching the band here. I'm gonna smoke it to the band. I prefer to smoke the band with the cigar. I don't know if a lot of you guys do that, but I fucking love it. I just smoke the band with the cigar. It adds a lot of flavor to it. It's sort of like a papery glue textured flavor. I don't know how to describe it. That's the only way to do it. Pretty much. If you're not doing it that way, you're doing it wrong. And um, I just want to spread the word out there for all you guys that don't know about this. Smoke your bands. Smoke okay. your bands. I'm yes. almost there. It's the best part. I'm looking forward to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Some people puss out, they smoke a little bit of the band and then they go, ooh, ooh, ooh and they got to take it off. <laughs> yeah. But don't do it. Don't be a bitch. Smoke the whole band. That's why I got the fattest band I could find so I can smoke the shit out of it. So let's take off the band here. Very nice imprinted band. What's that called? Uh, em embossed. Em embossed. Woo wee! <laughs> so our dog is doing the sound right now. That's why it's uh, sound guy's falling new. over. Yeah, it's a sound guy, sound dog. But yeah. So the cool thing about smoking cigars is like if you're with your brother, or your friends, or anything like that, it's just probably the best thing you can do to relax. Yeah, relax get to know one another a little bit better, get closer, you know? It's like, the epitome of a conversation piece. Really, yeah, right? pretty much. Yeah, and if you have nothing left to talk about, then you start talking about the cigar, and then all of a sudden, before you know it, you're talking about like real shit, and it's really awesome. Mm -hmm. You just kinda, it segues into every aspect of life. So that's the coolest thing, like, get a lot closer with the people that you're doing it with. I don't know about you, but when I made my first million dollars, it was over cigar, and when I've made my last million dollars, it was over cigar, so. <laughs> yeah, so every million we have this, like, tradition of buying a cigar for every million we make. What are we up to? This At least like, probably about 300. We smoke a lot of cigars. Over 30? Yeah. Uh, a week? Right. 
So we make a lot of money, we're very attractive, and we smoke a lot of cigars. So, yeah, yeah. Fuckload of cigars, yep, fuck fuckload load of attractiveness, yep. and a fuckload of money. We're the best. Number one, if you're not number one, you're number none. <laughs> That's right. Alec, Alec Baldwin Princenado. That's what I'm smoking it's not on. not an Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> I like Alec Bradley. He's good in movies. <laughs> it's the Alec Bradley Princado Robusto Box Press Aged Lightly Roasted Dark Chocolate Cigar. $12.99 at your local tobacco shop. That's right. Yep, get it. Get it while it's hot. Be there or be square because it's a box press. So. All right, well, until next time, do you want uh, any closing thoughts before we leave? Stay classy. <laughs> <laughs>